Hi, this is uh, Joe Malinchak, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Micro Aces uh, Bristol F2B. Uh, it's a 124 scale uh, model kit, and uh, I'm going to uh, be doing a little review for the uh, column that I write for model aviation, my micro flying column, and also uh, right here uh, on my YouTube channel. But first, if you would like to see more content like this, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, uh, the kit was uh, sent to me in this beautiful uh, box here. Um, yeah, it has uh, just a beautiful uh, image of the Bristol and uh, also uh, the Briss Fish version, which I had uh, chosen, a kind of a very colorful uh, scheme. Uh, the uh, real model actually existed. It was painted like uh, like a fish. Kind of cool. Um, the back of the box gives uh, a little bit uh, about uh, Mike Micro Aces history and what's uh, included in the box. A little bit about the uh, Bristol F2B fighter and some of the equipment uh, you will be needing. Uh, also uh, skill level and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, Really, uh, really a nice uh, kit here. Let's uh, take it out of the box and take a look. Okay, Let's see what we got. Okay, inside we have a printed uh, instruction manual, and it uh, looks like it's uh, has some color images. Uh, really, really. Uh, Nice to have a printed uh, manual. I mean, you can download the uh, instructions on the internet and uh, use a digital version, but it's just so nice to have a printed manual. Uh, well, I really love the packaging. Look at that. It looks like they laser cut uh, the Micro Aces logo uh, out of foam there. Very, very cool. We have uh, the uh, printed foam parts and some plastic, uh, thin plastic parts inside. We'll, we'll take a look at this uh, in just a little bit. Um, I also uh, ordered one of the uh, bomb racks, so we'll be making that. Uh, motor, I have, let's see, I'm using a uh, the plus version motor in this uh, in this kit and uh, a GWS propeller. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I'm going to uh, take out the uh, parts out of the bag here. We'll take a little closer look at the uh, kit contents, and uh, we'll uh, start uh, working on the build. Okay, here we have the uh, contents of the uh, kit. Everything is included that you see. Uh, John from Microwaves has made some improvements, and this is an upgraded version of this kit. It includes a brushed uh, plus motor, a uh, GWS propeller, and uh, we're going to start assembling the model. I'm not going to show every step in the assembly, but uh, just going to highlight some of the areas that uh, I see may cause some problems and uh, just give everybody a general idea of how the model goes together. Okay. Uh... This is the uh, one of the first steps in building this model is uh, you start with the uh, fuselage. It's kind of cool and uh, you build up uh, all the uh, formers on this uh, little frame here and uh, they go together fairly easily. You may make sure they're straight. There's a little magnet that goes inside of here. You apply a few uh, of these stickers and uh, I used a uh, UHU pour for all that assembly. Uh, and then next step, we'll be applying the uh, the fuselage uh, skin. Uh, what you have to do is uh, one of the first things is you have to bevel the edges of these parts at 45 degrees. And I use a sanding stick to do that. Um, what we are doing is basically beveling the edges so when you fold them up, you'll get a nice seam. And if you go in the manual there, there's a beveling guide and it tells you what's your 45. There's some 60 degree bevels in there. And uh, once we uh, accomplish that and uh, assemble a fuselage, it should give us a nice, uh, nice tight seam uh, and, a, and a beautiful look to the model. You also have to score uh, some of the foam. And what I do is I use a, a straight edge and I line it up again you know, on the score lines. 
and I'm using my, my wife's number 11 blade, but use the back side of the blade here, and you gently score the lines in the, uh, the foam parts, and then you can easily uh, bend them up. So um, we'll do that next. I'm going to uh, apply this to the, uh, the frame here, and we'll take a look at uh, how the, uh, the completed uh, fuselage looks. Okay, here I have the, uh, the fuselage uh, sheeted with the, uh, the printed foam sheet and uh, also the uh, landing gear is uh, basically finished. Uh, I just like to talk about one thing. When I bent the, uh, the foam sheet parts, I use a, uh, an aluminum ruler to uh, help with the bends. Uh, same thing with the landing gear, you know, you can just kind of lay it on the piece and bend around the, uh, the ruler. Uh, it goes together fairly nicely. Um, one thing in the instructions, uh, it uh, doesn't mention the ribs are laser cut in pairs and you just have to uh, cut them apart and then glue them together. But uh, overall, I'm happy with the way the build's going so far and uh, we'll uh, continue on. Okay, here I have the uh, bottom wing in place. It's kind of a critical step because uh, everything kind of lines up, you know, with this wing. You want to make sure that the wing and the tail, uh, everything is nice and uh, straight before proceeding. And then the next step is going to be adding the, uh, the rigging through all the uh, struts. They give you a nice little rigging tool. You can pull the rigging through and some... Uh, some thread. Um, I actually, uh, they want you to hang it on some weight so it, it stays, uh, gets rid of some of the sag, I guess, in the long term. I did that. I hung it uh, on some weights for a little over a couple days, actually. I let it hang, and we'll see how that works. Then we'll uh, install the top wing and uh, check the alignment and uh, secure everything in place with a little glue. Okay, here I have the uh, DT receiver. Um, I have the motor directly soldered to that, the sound board, um, two servos, I'm actually using two linear servos I purchased on Amazon, they were like 10 bucks a piece, so I'm going to give them a shot. I was planning on using my uh, friend Nick Lechtes, uh from Microflyer Radios, his 500 milligram servos, but uh, this is a cheap alternative, and uh, with the DT uh, 350 milligram receiver, it's approximately the same weight as a, a Spectrum board, uh, all in one board, so not too bad. Um, I have the uh, machine gun sound, one of the LEDs wired in there. I'm going to be uh, soldering the rest of er everything uh, into the receiver and installing it in the model. Okay, I have the uh, two servos, uh, linear servos mounted. Uh, in the nose of the aircraft. The DT receiver sits between those servos and the uh, sound system board next to that. Uh, the motor uh, and gearbox assembly lies on top of all that and uh, once I glue that into place uh, basically we are completed with the uh, radio installation. Okay here we have the completed Micro Aces uh, Bristol. Uh, F2B. Um, I have to say it's a beautiful model. Uh, John from Micro Aces did a, a wonderful job in its design. Um, I love all the uh, scale details. Uh, the uh, sticker propeller. We have a little uh, fuel prop on there. Uh, uh, the bomb uh, racks are just really cool. I still have to paint my bomb. Uh, the uh, machine guns. Even the profile pilots, the uh, landing, the tail skid, a little rubber band on it, you know, just really good. The struts, I mean, everything just uh, comes together on this model. Um, I would have to say the hardest part about building it probably is, uh, you know, getting everything lined up correctly. The wings on all the, uh, the rigging wire or string um, in place. And, uh, you know, overall, not too bad. Uh, I really, most, uh, the part I uh, dislike the most about uh, building uh, these models, uh, for some reason, is the landing gear. I just don't like doing landing gear. But uh, the wheels on here have little 
rubber O-rings and they're a little tight fit around the foam wheels. Um, the uh, the O-ring tires, I, I stretched them as much as I could. I even sanded the, uh, the wheel down and it came out okay, but it kind of crushes the foam a, a hair, but uh, it looks okay. I added, I wanted the model to be a little special, so I added some extra features. Um, let's pull this cowling off. And I am going to insert the battery. Okay. And I'm just going to set the cowling back on has little magnets to hold it in place but you want to make sure it's positioned correctly and let's take a look at what we did with this all right the first thing is bring my transmitter over here the first feature of this model is let me turn the lights down the machine gun sound system yeah, it's just over the top cool. I have the uh, speaker mounted in the uh, underneath the uh, front fuselage there. But uh, this is the AR Cox machine gun sound system, and uh, he produced this a few years ago, and unfortunately he uh, stopped producing it for lack of interest, which is kind of hard to believe because. Uh, I think every one of these Micro Aces models uh, should have one. It's, it adds about four grams to the model's weight. Uh, I used a lighter DT receiver, and uh, it just it just works beautifully. Um, let me turn the lights back on. The uh, next feature I added was the uh, to the bomb rack. I wanted the bomb to be droppable, so let's see how this works here with a flick of the switch. There goes the bomb. And I, uh, I used one 400 milligram servo from uh, Nick Lecti, Microflyer Radio. You can see the mechanism operating there. And that just holds the, uh, the bomb into place. Works really, really well. So we can actually drop the bomb. Uh, it's just too cool. So uh, there you have it. The uh, Micro Aces Bristol. Uh, I'd like to thank... Uh, John from Micro Aces for sending me this kit, really beautiful, and uh, we're going to uh, take it out and give it a test flight, it's first test flight, model weighs uh, 52 grams uh, empty without the battery and 56 grams with the 150 uh, milliamp battery that I'm using in the model and we'll see how it flies. So I uh, thank everybody for watching this video, and if you'd like to see more content like this, please uh, like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you. All right, here we are on the first test flight of the Micro Aces Bristol. It's a little cold today. I'm not sure how long the model is going to fly. Um, but uh, we will give it a shot. Here we go. Wow, beautiful. A little bit of trim. I actually thought it was gonna be nose heavy, but it's not. Wow, it flew right out of my hand. I'm only using about one quarter power. Let's try a right turn. Might need a little bit of trim. That is really pretty. Let's bring it over here a little bit. Just a slight breeze, not bad. All right, there's the machine guns. Probably have to do that right before dark. And we'll get a good look at the machine guns. All 
Oh, you can fly in a fairly small area. I am really, really satisfied. All right, let's take it up a little bit. Let's see how it stalls. Wow, virtually, that's a fairly gentle stall. I mean, I'm just holding it back. It's not falling out of the sky. This drops a wing. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's bring it in. All right, there you have it, the uh, Micro Aces uh, Bristol. Just a beautiful model.